Hello friends, welcome again. This is, so this is my new project, University Management System, and I have developed this project in VB.NET and MySQL. So for VB.NET development, I have used a Visual Studio 2019. For MySQL database, I'm using MySQL version 5.6, and I'm using the Jam server for uh, ID of the MySQL that is a PHP my admin, right? So these all technology stacks I have used for developing this project in university management system, right? So let's start with the features and functionality go through that. What are the modules available inside this project? What are the features we have developed in this project, right? So this is a Windows based application and we have developed all of the coding in the VB.NET. This is not a web based, this is a Windows based application, right? So for running this project, you must have the Visual Studio 2019 and if you open this project in 2019 just you will have the sln file if you click on that sln file then you will get this page right and it uh, you must have the visual issue 2019 for running this project right so once you once this project loads then you can run it using the start button right once you click on the start button then you will get the uh, splash form and after the, the login form right so i am exiting it from here now so these are the forms codings right you can see these are the codings this is the forms what we have uh, developed right so you can see all of the things all of the codings are here right so once you run this project uh, so you can see all of the codes here you can see there are seven modules we have developed here the attendance module the course module the faculty module fees module login module like student list and timetable module this so these all modules we have developed inside this project right so once you load this project you can run this project using the start so once you run it right so this is platform will display first and after that it will show you the user and password so user id is admin and the password is test so once you log inside the system it will show that login successfully this is the mdi form what we have developed and it contains all of the form link in the menu bar you can see these are all are the menu bar here right so let me go through one by one so this is a file menu here is a you can see logout and exit right so currently i am not going to show you that because if i click on that then system will be exited and you need to run this project again right so this is the student management once you click on the student management you will be able to see all of the students which you have added in the database earlier right so you, this is the student if you want to perform any type of CRUD application is create read update delete operation just click on the you can update the records from here like this 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 and if i click on the update then it will update the record you can see it has been updated right so you can from here you can update you can delete like if i want to delete any record just click on delete and it's saying that deleted successfully so this is the current application create read, update and delete right the now i'm closing this that this is the time man, timetable management from here you will be able to manage the timetable right so here you will be able to see all of the courses here you will be able to see all of the subjects right you will select the course you will add the subject and day name class name from time and to time and you can perform the CRUD application add update delete right even you can update it just click on double click on it and that will be visible here and you can update the record the same course management so you will be able to see the courses list here right here like here so these all drop downs are coming from the database this is a database driven no need of adding updating or modifying the code for adding the course and cities right so once you click on this here you can see these are the courses right you can add any number of courses and this course will be reflected in the drop down right you can perform the credit application of the courses from here right the same for the faculty this is the faculty and from here you will be able to uh, manage the faculty means you can create update and delete the faculty from here right so next one is attendance you can mark attendance of the students here this is the date drop down you can see this is the date and if you so this is the search button right just click on this and you will be able to see all of the students which you have added earlier just click on the student for which you want to mark the attendance and the fields will be filled automatically right and you can mark the present and save then you can see the records has been saved right so you can perform again the uh, CRUD application on the students also 
this is a fees management from here you can manage the fees the same browse and after that you can select the student and after that it's like this one right and then after the academic year like 2023 anything you can enter 2023 20, total amount and you, you can fill out the forms and after that save update and clear and delete you can perform this applications this is about this is a static content and if you want to add your names your friends names your group name then you can update your names here right so you can update the text there in the form directly right the last one is the exit if you have completed all of the operations then you can exit from the application just click on the exit and that will be exited from the means it will clear all of the session and you will exit from the application right so these all features and functionalities we have developed inside this project the title is university management system and this is a, a windows based application and we have developed it in vb.net and mysql so if you need any enhancement any features inside this project just put it into the comments we will incorporate those changes we will make this project more better and better according to requirements and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest project videos on the latest technologies thanks for watching the video thank you very much